All right, guys, so welcome back. I'm super excited to be back with another episode. The all-new Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC, The Siege of Paris. I've got to be honest, it's, it's definitely a mouthful, but I will say this, and I said it on the first episode, I feel like this DLC is really good so far. If I were to compare it to the first one, so far, I think it's better. Just the way the things are flowing, the interest in the characters, I like it. And I hope you guys are having a good time with it. So I think it's about four and a half hours long. It says that it's like 10, but honestly, I think it's going to be shorter than that. So I want to say we probably have like another episode after this one at the very most. Now, we are in some sort of battlefield. I just spawned in here. I don't even know where we're at exactly, but we are headed into the next mission called Honor and Enemies. Travel to Siegfried's forward camp. I feel like there's going to be a Sorry. war brewing no or there actually today. is a war brewing but it's about to start and it's about to get dirty so thank you for being here it's going to be a good one and without further ado let's do this i didn't want to start off the episode this crazy but hey if i must then i must is that it is that all you guys got Oh, you boys are in for a rude awakening today. By the way, I know I have a really cool bear, but I've been looking at some pretty awesome mounts in this game, and I think I'm going to swap out the bear and get one of the, the cooler mounts. There, there. Did you see it? So we'll probably do that later on in the episode, but right now we'll just we'll hang on with the bear. So here we go. The forward camp. You know, one thing I actually wish it wouldn't be mandatory is the fact that I can't go fast with my mount inside the camps. I mean, I get it, but sheesh. It can be pretty irritating. All right, so Sigfred is going to be over there. Um, You know what? Let's just go to him. Let's see what he's got planned. By the way, I did want to say that I love Charles the Fat. I love the character. Very menacing, and I feel like he's the perfect character for this DLC. So good job on that. Speak to Toka. Long ships on the shore. As beautiful as swans. Okay. That's a nice comparison. More like wolves circling for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You thought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but... There are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. There need not be a slaughter. I may still persuade the Franks to yield, though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We're here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Odo leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says, "'Tis better to live than to die, that the debt till no feels." You quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. Stealth? <laughs> I laugh at the face of stealth. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. I love it when he speaks about the All Father Odin. Doesn't this man know that I'm a reincarnation of Odin, Odin himself? He probably doesn't know. Take three Paris mansions. <laughs> we know you are uh, 
<laughs> what are these guys doing? <laughs> these guys are horsing around. I like that. I like that. I like it. It gives life to the game. Very nice. Very clever there, Ubisoft. Very clever. Uh, let me call my bear. It feels so weird, like riding a bear. It just doesn't feel no. normal. <laughs> Feels very mythical, but that's what this game is. This game is very mythical. Guards here are vigilant. The last three Assassin's Creed games have been very mythical, but this one takes it. Maybe Odyssey was a bit more mythical th than this one. Oh, I don't know. My eyes. I'd have to play it again. It's been a while. The guards here are vigilant. Let's see. Okay. Explore the uh, Sarah for clues to count Odo's whereabouts. Okay. Yeah, but that guard is not gonna. This must be the Fort Token mentioned. I need clues to Odo's whereabouts. Oh God. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go around. We're gonna go around. And we're gonna take these guys one by one. Sheesh. Where exactly? Where exactly do I have to? Should I just kill all of them? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. I want to kill them all, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get spotted. Screw it. If it happens, then it happens. Let's go. I've been I've been dying to try this scythe anyway, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh, what happened to this man? Oh Jesus! Snap his neck, Abor. Snap his damn neck. That's what I'm talking about? That's what a true Viking does. Man, this scythe is OP, dude. It's slow as heck, but Jesus Christ. Come here. Is this man calling for reinforcement? Is he crazy? The guards up top haven't even seen me, which is nice. We'll take this guy out. <laughs> Sorry, man. But, you know, I got business to attend to. I'm here on a damn mission. I'm not here to play dollhouse. It's for little kids. We're doing grown man stuff right now. I really miss this game, dude. Like, I miss playing all the Assassin's Creed games. I know we did a huge marathon in this channel. And I miss that. I really do. I miss the love. I truly do. So we're taking advantage of this as fully as we can. If that makes any sense. This guy's gonna see me. Or not. Now, who hired these guards? These guys are horrible. Or maybe I'm just a savage. Maybe I am, after all, the ultimate assassin. Why bother? Nobody knows when he's coming back. Have faith in the count. He's kept us fed, so if anyone can hold Paris, he can. Six well and his lot will be eating in the palais before one Hmm. Oh, are you kidding me? fine it's totally fine you guys don't have to get alarmed or triggered or anything like that oh my god oh <laughs> god let's see Bro, what are you doing? Why are you coming here? You're gonna die. I should have just came. I should have gone berserk from the beginning. These guys are soft. We've played too many DLCs. We've done too many missions in this game. We're too high level for the for the 
for the enemies, I, I, would, I would like to say. At least it feels that way. Which is totally fine. It's a nice change of pace. Okay, so maybe underground. Have a look, Sunan. Probably in here we might find something. I feel like we are. <laughs> Rations order. The defenders of Paris, the people of Paris and the surrounding countryside trust in us to defend this city and defend it we shall. To that end, the people have given us grain and vegetables more than enough to last us through the winter. For this, we are grateful. Take only what you need and share the rest with the sick, the poor and the wounded. Wow, we all must stand together united under God against the Ethan Horde. Yours in charity, Count Odo of Paris. Okay, very generous. Oh, God. Alright, so... came from there what do we have here hmm nice some opal all right so I searched the underground area still looking for a clue what the hell it's probably somebody else that died <laughs> Search the tents. Nothing around here. How about inside this this room here? This might be it. Unlock the door. Excellent. Here it is. It's got to be in here. Oh, there's a fat chest right there. Oh, yeah. The bloody scythe. Another one. Hold on. Give me a second here. We're getting more weapons. You're going to give me more inventory? Oh, let's see how good this one is. 111 versus... Dude, I'm going to get that one. I'm sorry. Yep. I sure am. Oh, yes. And I'm going to put... Put that one. And we're going to put... I'll put another attack. That's fine. Oh, that's sweet, dude. I like that. That's very cool. Odo should be at his manor. The one with fresh flowers. So, an elegant letter. Dearest Odo, our guests are arriving at the at the manor. The Fleur's rogues. A few become lost, arriving south of Paris instead of north. I dispatched messengers to the rest, telling them to go look for abundant fields of gorgeous red poppies. Uh, do make haste, my love. Our guests are eager to parlay with your, with you about the war. While waiting, they are taste testing our prized muzzled, a uh, mealed wine. I'm sorry. Your faithful wife, Lady Theodrit. Theodrit. All right, so we've got a location. That's good. Man, I love the weapons in this DLC, dude. I know that we also have the one-handed sword. I don't know if I have to get it by doing uh, some of the side quests or whatnot, but should be interesting. We'll see if we come across it or not. I'm not too worried about it, but it would be nice. But again, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, then I guess it doesn't. I'm going to try and avoid conflict here. Don't want any conflict with these guys. These guys are dangerous. You know, the first episode, I saw this, this DLC, and it looks so gloomy and dark and gritty. But very nice. Certain parts of Paris have been very colorful. With beautiful, lush landscapes. Now, we've got a sing point over there. Wait, this is where we came from. This is where we started the episode. Oh, God. He was here all along. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. This Whoa. way is well guarded. Best to find another way in. Now you found me for going this way. Who says I cannot enter? 
Best raise my hood here. Interesting. Yo, I didn't see that man. All right, travel to the northern parish. There could be a way to bypass the guarded gates. Well, this is the guarded gate. This is the way. This is the way. Can I go inside here? Probably not. <laughs> Can I speak to any of the people? The windows are all closed. How about through the roof? Can I enter through the roof? Maybe a side entrance? Nothing? The farmhouse notes. The rats swarm through the tunnels connecting from the farmhouse to the manor. They devour the grain so uh, stores and are biting the field's hands. We've killed many, but their festering corpses remain. I have ordered the farmhouse boarded up to stem the tide. The same at the manor. Your faithful Reeve Henry. There's gotta be a way in without starting any conflict. The Northmen broke my house and killed my Hold son. stranger. Who goes there? Pardon me, my lady, but I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady. I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes, I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. One of the guests might have one. Guest has gone mad. Stretch your wings, Sunan. He's hiding in the wine cellar. I won't believe it. One of our nobles cowering like a stable. Someone! Oh, help me bash down the... drunken noble might have one of those rats I need to meet with Odo. <laughs> Nothing to fear. I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. I think I must be on the ground to complete the objective. This drunk has a paper in his pocket. Looks like the writ I need to meet with Count Odo. Okay. I have returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I need to find Count Odo. Oh, God. This is going to be interesting. The door is locked. Find the key. Count Odo study. All right, so who can have the key? Who could have this key? Be upstairs. Must be blocked from the other side. Oh snap! What the heck? Are you serious? Not getting in this way. You see, the Odo has trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come to be? Because, dear Lovar, I gift him with rare vintages, whole casks from as far away as Greece. Ha! <laughs> Servant, bring more wine. I shall see to our wine, dear Lothar. Farewell. Interesting. We go so now it's time to assassinate this guy or steal the key whichever one <laughs> I 
as, as long as he doesn't see me coming here. Oh god, let me close the door. Can I close the door? <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. It closed automatically. Perfect. Alright, so here we have Father Confessor, Father Thibul Thibult. My old friend, I seek your guidance on a pressing matter of spiritual concern. Normally, I would bring these matters into the uh, sacrament of holy confession with my father confessor. But this war makes such conveniences difficult. The siege has driven our family priest, Walter Dusens, over the edge. And he is no longer stable enough to hear my confession. I fear for the safety of my family, particularly Lady Theodret. Sometimes the urge of, uh, to flee overwhelms me. We would escape so easily through a smuggler's tunnel, but I cannot abandon my post. Yet late at night, doubt attacks me. Nightmares of fire and blood stalk my dreams until I sit bolt upright in bed, trembling with fear. The meaning is clear. My stubborn defense of Paris may bring down a terrible slaughter upon us all. Once again, I ask you to share your wisdom. What should I do? Your former students, Lord Ordo, Count of Paris. Hold on. Before I go there, let me check this area out. We shall drive these heathen devils back into the abyssal sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce, and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosler, kindly show our guests out. Does he know we're here? Come out and say what you wish to say. Eivor of England. Whoa. Impressive. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Frankia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We are not part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. What? My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Are you kidding me? Farewell. Man, I should have gone down there. Frick. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. My own. Ah, you arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure.
Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. Hmm. A fierce wind can snap a tree, even one as strong as Odo. Is Charles the wind, or will he break like a reed? Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for our catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toka. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover. Just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. <laughs> now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason. But Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the fat king. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toker is right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word, once given, is never broken. I will fight at your side, secret. Never doubt. Enough, friends, uncle. We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thing. Someday she may stand in front of an army, like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> What do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. Girl, I'm about to slit your throat. Don't talk to me like that. Who are you talking to? These guys are mocking me, man. Making fun of me. D -d 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 Disrespect. I need to the groundwork for the siege. What to do first? Honor and enemies. Eivor must lay the groundwork for the siege. There is an open quest log menu. Multiple quests accepted. Alright. Here we go. Frankia. So, fire from heaven. Eivor secures the military workshop in North Paris. Eivor searches for a smuggler who might know for a weakness. Of weaknesses. Uh... Eivor finds Charles to negotiate a deal before Paris. Okay, let's see what these missions are about. I don't know if these are like side missions. I think they're story heavy, so I'm going to check that out. If they're story heavy, then I will include them. If they're not, then I will probably just kind of skip them. I know that the last DLC had some missions like that, um, but it wasn't too bad. So let's check this out. I know the one that 
we have to go speak to Charles the Fat. It's probably very important. So, if this one is just as important, then maybe we don't have to skip anything. Oh, God, he was right there. Oh, my. Secret at the bell tower. We need to scout some ground for his catapults. Yeah, this looks like it's important for the mission. For the main missions. We'll see. Uh, there we go. There. That workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, that man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear, for we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Goslin and Ebels, warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must... Brother, you talk too much. Come on. Let us go take that workshop now. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These guys are crazy. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground from catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftops. Siegfried, over here. Come, man. We shall take this workshop and make it our own. All right, so this doesn't feel like a crappy mission at all. This feels like an important one. So, a perfect place for our castles to burn stones upon that cursed tower. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried. I am no goat-footed climber like you, but I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Attack! Vengeance or death! Oh damn! Our new catapults are eager for battle. The crack of wood and stone is the sound of victory. We're going in like this. And that's one thing about this DLC. Line of sight on the city walls for our catapults. Eradicate Frankish shoulders. Soldiers, soldiers, soldiers! What else we got? What else we got? Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I can't assassinate from here. Are you kidding me? All right, enough is enough. Oh my God, I'm being burned alive, Amor! I was saying that in this DLC, it feels like there's not a whole lot of filler. Uh, filler cons are like, you know, bogus missions. Everything's felt pretty good. Which I think it's a big part as to why I've been enjoying it. This is a new move that I unlocked. I want to try it out. You run and then you press RT. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me handle some of this. That one right there. You run, 
You run it, you press RT. Hold on, I'll show you right now. It's a new I think it's part of this DLC. I'm not I'm not too sure. Watch. Hold on, Jesus. There it is. Did you see that? The flying knee? <laughs> you give him the flying knee. Oh God. You know what? Let me get some of the arrows going. Help oh, my dog. Help me out. Man, these guys are pretty good. I think there's one more left. They're pretty good, yeah, but there's still no challenge for Avor and his clan. Okay, there's a lot more. <laughs> what the hell? What the freak? I will stomp you till you die. Nice. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Oh! How did I do that? I thought I was about to assassinate that man. Man, these archers are really annoying. Perfect. <laughs> Man's a savage. Victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson. The god of vengeance, who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nordnir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. You will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. Alright, cool. Alright, so here we have... Could this be... No, this can't be here, can it? No. Hold on. There's actually... How do I get in there? Damned. Need to get on the other side. Hmm. I want to get what whatever's inside there. Oh wow. Never mind. Seriously, dude? <laughs> Freaking crap. Captain, we caught uh, the thief who stole our key, or your key. Come to the dungeons to retrieve it. You might also post more guards by the river entrance. It's too lightly guarded, and the thief nearly escaped the defender's rest lock. The chest is locked. Goslin, send more letters. I wipe my ass with them. <laughs> but we have to go to the dungeons. So maybe, maybe down below. Yep, there it is. There's the key. I think I found the key, boys. Let's go ahead and do that. Just to sidetrack a bit. Hey, 
down. You will die. Oh, y'all want some of this? <laughs> okay, how about some of the rats? You guys like rats? I dare you. <laughs> Attack! Yes! Oh, this guy's pretty strong. <laughs> the rats will kill you all! That's hilarious. Collect the key. All right, what else do we have here? No, oh, don't don't pick him up, Avor. We don't want that. We want to get the heck out of here. That's what we want to do. Okay, so now now that I. I've acquired my key. Nice little seagull there. What is that? I'm gonna go back in here. Where is it that I was? I lost track. This place is too damn big. I think it was this way. Yep. Here we go. Excellent. Paladin Chainmail. What is that all about? Let's check that out. Inventory. 41. That's eh, not bad. <laughs> I don't know if it looks anywhere as good as what I have. Can I upgrade it? Sure, why not? So 40, uh, this is the berserk armor. Let me see what this guy looks like with this crap on. He looks huge with that. Holy smokes. Hmm. All right. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put more health. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. That works. We also have uh, four more skill points, which I should probably add some of these. My resistance damage. Okay. What do we have here? Whale the wolf. And assassination damage. Alright, cool. So now when we go back to the world. Brother, yeah, back to quest. We're gonna go back to Frankia, and we've got two more. Royal Fox Hunt. Tokus at King Charles carouses at this tavern. Strange to drink and make merry on the eve of war. Dude, why should there be like a huge plot twist with the queen? I know she seems very nice and all, but I don't know. We have to find a way in there. It's in here. The fat king. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy. But not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool, the king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I, I should thank you. 
For what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. Watch and learn. We shall be resident! Flay out! Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. The jesters were all drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. The bear might be the king, so the king had a room. Pantomime is a naughty boy and a naughty pantomime be he. He drank down wine, he crept upstairs, and he stole the fat bear's key. Hmm. Wrecking for harassment extortion torch for the lost potter near the city sewers. Okay, hold on. Upstairs. Door is locked. Oh shit, my bad. You there, acting strange. Where is your king? As mute as the dead. No matter. No matter to me, man. Oh, look at that. The clever fox key. <laughs> oh, hello there. Are you surprised to see a nice sexy Viking in your homestead? All right, so we might actually there we go. Oh. Whoa, look at this. Royal Theater Invite. Your shining majesty, dearest, most wonderful Charles. May your reign be as great as your generosity and as vast. We humble uh, players invite you, our beloved patron, 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 to attend a new performance upon the Amon stage. We shall debut the scintillating new play dubbed The Measure of a King. Wine and merriment plenty will also be provided. In addition, we shall also provide delightfully garbed companions. Awesome according to your ex uh, exacting specifications, your royal group, the king's players. Uh -huh, Charles, I found your hiding spot. Nice. We got it. I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theater in Amiens. Good. Let us go. No, he may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said. I would be so suspicious being here. It's like, why do you want me to go? What, what are you hiding, Eivor? I sure wish we could ride a donkey. That that should have been the freaking mount for this DLC, the donkey. Eehaw, eehaw. <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. All right, we're here. To cloak myself here. Perfect. Hold on, there's a bunch of guards coming. I'm gonna go through the rooftops. Screw this. Nope. No point in risking it right now. Everything is going according to plan. There should be... That's the theater right there. 
Oh, look at that. Very nice. Look at that. Charles the... Oh, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Charles the Fat. Oh, that hurt. Charles the Fat. I must be careful now. I have caught you red-handed. <laughs> well, I feel really dumb right now. <laughs> Even here yet. There's a letter though. The letter reads The Measure of a King, a play acting war. Okay. Maybe he's. Maybe I gotta take out all the guards to go to the other side. Let's see. Or he could be over there. Charles, man. Oh, here we go. Backstage. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little one. What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. This is weird, bro. No, 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 no. <sighs> it is only the heathen led astray by Lucifer, but mortal all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> for forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. <laughs> Let me assure you. My demon exists. As does my God. Could he have been cursed by his queen? Can you imagine? He's very holy and stuff like that, so who knows? Religious. She might kill you me. know. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand for that trick you played on me and the queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Yeah, his queen is like, you know, she's very holy, but she may be acting like she's just holy. She might be worshiping something else, you know? Odo won't see reason. Siegfried wishes to burn the city down, but you, you can save Paris. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? Aha, <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. 
while Pius Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard... My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Oh, shit. Else begun. You want him brought to a dingy theater, where you talk to yourself in the dark? No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. What the heck, dude? You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish skulls. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, <laughs> but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the prince lacks honor. We should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. What else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toka. All right, back to the camp we go. Investigate the area. Well, this is abandoned, if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Whetstones, smuggled goods meant for the Ile de la Cité. The smugglers know the island well. Uh... Okay. How in the world do I get in there? Ah. That's interesting. Food, herbs, healing wraps. I wonder who these are meant for. It seems the Queen knows the smuggler. Maybe Rishadis can help me find no one. No one, my good Batron. When you return from your latest foray, please meet me at St. Julian. I have urgent need for more medicine and supplies. Yours candidly, Queen R. Oh my god! No! Fuck! What the hell did I just do? Ah, oh, shit, that sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, look, there's a crow <laughs> flying under the. Oh. Okay, you know what? I need to calm down. I really need to calm down. I wanted to kill the crow. Let's see you, old friend. Okay, so she's got to be up top, probably. Or in the bottom. Oh, look at that. How only half of the cape is wet. That's cool. Very nice. What the heck is happening here? Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. A heathen monster! 
bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend. Good people. Do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust a pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? Friends, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. You keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. The plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Eivor. I am not yet ready to return to Charles, if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward. Name of Norman. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman. Although not without... talents. To those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? I have urged the truce on all sides without success. But I can still try. But Siegfried the Frank Killer leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many Northmen must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his knees die too? Should you? That's true. I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason and truce on all sides. I do what I can. He did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you. My good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I'm in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! On the mounds of babes. Very well. But hurry back, little bear. Hmm. Not so fast, little prince. This place is not safe. Oh, no God. Is safe now. Mother says so. How is it you know where this smuggler works? Yesterday I went on an adventure and followed her. But she saw me and waved. I felt silly. I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen to this kid. And we're gonna get blamed I've for it. I've been down this way before. Thanks, Bernard. Get back okay, to the queen. Never mind. Bye. Exactly are we going? This way. Okay. Oh, hello there. You saved your life. Bonjour, my brave friend. But I do not have any silver. Hmm. I am not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. Praise the saints. And I thank you for your fine and timely blade. But I must go. No, you see, I'm a friend of Richardis, Queen of Francia. And I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through the city's walls. I need your help. I am no ghost. Just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All of Paris knows it. Even the boy prince does. I need <laughs> your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? I'll pay her. Is this enough silver to loosen your tongue? Ah, sweet silver. The bane of Judas. It will do. Silver makes fools of even the wise. And the rich make greater fools than the poor. 
All is well. So what do you need, Northerner? I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door, something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Franks seed the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take that bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. Interesting. Where is this bridge? It must be near. Oh, it's probably the door that I can't I try to open and we couldn't. Yep, here it is. A hidden weakness. Explore the tunnel and reach the south bridge. What a nice little job you have there. Just hanging around, sipping on some wine. Was right. Some jars of grease will bring this bridge crashing down. I will set up the jars so we can destroy the bridge later during the attack. Smart move, Avor. army by myself what do i want with a suicide mission let's see how well they hold the city hey, you don't belong down here no, to be honest neither do i then let us <laughs> pretend we're both elsewhere uh, why not we are all doomed maybe if i moved something i could get across what do i want with a suicide mission let's see how well they hold the city without their precious bridge <laughs> Okay, so if I can get this and move it all the way and push it. Wait. Ah, okay. Can I go with this? Yes, I can. Should do the trick. Excellent. That's a little puzzle solving, man. We need more of that in Assassin's Creed, huh? There. The trap is set for the siege of the island. Better return to the others. Now, I just want to know who the heck planted those explosives there, huh? All right, guys. We have arrived. You. Where are Siegfried and Toga? Ah, uh, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow, we all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again, I ask. Where are the others? Fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. Alright, so rest. Maybe we can rest in here. Is there a bed here? There we go. No? Damn, we can't even use this bed. You know what? I'll just meditate. How about that? Yeah. When you don't have a bed, just just meditate. We good? 
still rest some more? Okay. Well, meditate twice. Because apparently one time is not enough. Imagine you can actually do that shit, like meditate and then time passes by. That would be hilarious. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I gotta go rest over there. So never mind about the resting and meditating stuff. Pay no mind to me. I did it absolutely incorrect. Here's why I gotta rest in a bench. Okay. Not even a bed. Sheesh. Far from home. Before another city of strangers. When did our lives become a saga, Sunin? Hmm. Yes. I know the day. The very day when mother and father died. Count Odo will not hear reason. Charles plays games. I cannot trust the lives of my people with such men. The queen now. She I could trust, but she lacks power. We all forget what really happened in Eivor. It was very tragic, to be honest. My like place the is here. The beginning the of this game was Toga. nuts. Come with me. Hmm. Eivor, you return. That means all is ready and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You will collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. This I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The guards heard it. That is enough. And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? Mine who feeds the ravens. Who will obey? Say what you like, Siegfried. But we are free thanes, all of us. You are not our Jarl, nor our king. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Awkward. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war filled world, and of the next, the whole of endless wonder. Only then do I rest. Sleep before the siege begins. Today you die, but tomorrow you run free in the green fields of Asgard. Excellent. You know, this is what I'm talking about. Nice little comfy bed. Hey, warriors! We shall take that city and sack it and burn it to the ground! And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace or in Odin's hall with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory. The day of vengeance! That's like if it was his brother, right? Wow. 
very well. Shields! <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the bridge. That's right. The freaking bridge, dude. Those are my boys kicking ass. That's right. I think those boys are a little bit too old to be working like that, man. Should be retired. for war so that my arms may hold this cross of gold I shall not yield brave Sif bring the gift of victory Odin lend me your helm of war is that a horse's head feed my need for vengeance. why man what the hell the horse do to you oh Aesir crush these walls I am the gate of Paris! You will die. Is that man power 327? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's not that bad. Trash kid. Actually, no, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. I was only kidding, man. <laughs> Is he screaming like a little sissy? Look at him. <laughs> Excellent. I love how much my like adrenaline slots just fill up. Amazing. I mean, to be honest, this is the first time that we ever have an unmatched, an uneven matchup against an enemy in our favor. There's three of us and one of him. Burn down the wall! Fate favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! Oh, I can't palace. believe it. Fire and vengeance! Faster, faster! Catch them off guard! They will attack on sight here. To hail our victory! Follow goal, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, where are they going? They're going this way. What is? Where are those psychic dogs? Psychic dogs, my guts. Shields up and 
close ranks. This is a setup, man. I'm telling you. Something is happening here. Now they look very enthusiastic about battle. like that damn that was anticlimactic damn the gods i walked right into odo's trap like a healing elk do not lose heart secret battle is a fickle goddess uncle it is worse the scouts report that warrior priest uh does that yes he rallies a large force of franks in the east in that church oh wow damn the gods they will crush us out in the open what do we do our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I will take down this warrior priest, Goslan, before he rallies the Franks. Eivor, keep up! We must light those towers! <laughs> hmm. Alright, so escort Toka. Let's go, let's go. Come on, woman. You gotta move. Watch out! Then they aim. What are they shooting? Well, that was a close one. Well, you guys died. This reminds me of good old Assassin's Creed. Oh my goodness. Wow, bro. We were we were here earlier. Look at this. Oh, oh this is freaking gone to crap. Insane. Should be the last one. I think there's only two towers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I burned myself. <laughs> So assassinate the Bishop Goslin. Bishop of Paris is rallying the defenders. Explore to find opportunities. I don't know, man. I think I just want to assassinate this man for once. Hmm. Captain alert, my captain. We have captured an ally of the Norse and are interrogating him in the nearby church bell tower. There it is. He broke and locked the church. Some unknown means. Luckily, we caught him beforehand. 
capture in the church bell tower and make no one. Okay. So, what we can do. How about the boys today? You know what I'm saying? Nice. Where are you going, dude? <laughs> oh, holy crap. Alright, let's go through the top. If we get the key, we might be able to. Maybe we can disguise disguise ourselves as um ah, as a traitor, right? Or as the guy that they're trying to kill. The other side must be barred. Ah. Shoot. Of course. Okay, so maybe. I need to get across, but through the top side so I can break the barricade. How do I do that? Hmm. Okay, how the heck do I do that? How do I get in there? Is there an open area here or what? Let me check on this side. Hold up. How in the world? How in the world am I supposed to get there? Hmm. Oh, hold on. Yes, I am a fool. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm I'm just a fool. I am a fool's fool. Remember you, the silent jester from the town. Yep. You have yep. earned my eternal gratitude. I assume you seek the war priest, Goslar. Please, take the church key. It's brought me only trouble. Thanks. It seems you found your tongue after all. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, these things are so annoying. Bishop Goslin, I implore you to spend some coins and repair the church's walls. Fitting for okay. warriors gather for my devastating counterattack. We will crush them between the towers and the walls. We will slay them all and burn their villages. Now, pray with me, good people. Pray to God and all the saints to deliver us from this plague of heathens. Pray for what? A quick death? You failed us, Bishop! We shall pray that King Charles and his army arrive to smite our godless foes. Have faith! You pray for a rescue from Charles the Bastard? Truly, we are doomed! The Mad King drinks wine while Paris burns! Oh, ye of little faith! 
I command you to pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I don't want to kill the civilians, but it is what it is. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. I'm so happy they brought that crap back. Look at this man. My God. Is that the darkness? Or a light? Darkness, you son of a gun. Darkness. Join your nailed God in death as you served him in life. Clear the hall. Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength. Yo, that guy better not massacre all those kids, man. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Is this guy insane? How does this end, Toka? Killing everyone? It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way. Over, under, or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I will get in. That dude is nuts, man. I don't agree with that. So, confront Count Odo. But she just becomes a slaughter only in order if Count Odo will stop the fighting and the blood should find... No one and uh, the smuggler who knows a way into the palace, palace, or explore the opportunities. This is nutty, man. All right, let's go straight. <laughs> Screw the stealth attacks, man. We ain't here for no stealth attacks. Y'all mess with the wrong gang. Ah, shit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, cool. Broken armor. Here we go. Here she is. Eivor, could you, for the love of God, child, climb up. Come on. Smuggler, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. This slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Char is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, his army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way, but there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toker and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. I've really enjoyed the, uh... The, the assassination attempts, man. Uh, it's been really cool. I don't even know if that was a thing in, in Valhalla recently. It might have been, and I completely forgot. We will die if we don't get into Odo's palace. Ah, you will die regardless. Alright, we're 
We're clear. Let's go. Is it in here? Yep, down below. What? Eivor, for the love of God. Oh, really deep in there, huh? Oh, wow, you got here quick. That tunnel takes you into the palais. Thank you, Norman. And you? I will say what I can of my trade goods and leave through other tunnels. Godspeed, Eivor. A safe journey to you two. A fine haul of Norse Walker and Frankish riches. A rat swarm. Can I be damaged or killed? Alright, we know this. That's the bad thing about having this uh, scythe. For the rats, it's a little, it's a little irritating. Just because it's so slow, you know. Oh, hi. Another one bites the dust. Another 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 one bites the dust. crap down there hold on are you sure i can do anything here <laughs> underground hold on hold on everything is kind of leveled maybe i can go underground once i'm inside the the, the palace if you will el palacio the Los Hugos. Oh, those are the... Troublesome maid captain, a mad woman haunts, haunts, uh, haunts the tunnels beneath the Palais. They're framed with the patrols. Yo, she's hiding something down there. This woman is one of the Palais maids. Will you send me someone to find more? The maid can be found in the Eastern Gardens, taking her breaks. Interesting. You totally don't see me here. Totally not me. Ooh. Who are you? And what are you doing? Have you escaped from your cell? Whatever you are doing, stop. Mon cher is coming. And, and he'll lock you up. Don't worry, woman. I am here to save the day. Right under the palace. Wow. Is this where you guys make love? I, I concur. I concur and I approve. <laughs> keeper of my heart, my darling uh, Yaler. The keeper of my heart, our moments together have unlocked a captive desire. A captive desires. <laughs> I know you and your guards must guard the cells to protect the palais. But I have such need to see you again. Please. Let us have one more tryst together before the heathens burn us all. Meet me in your love nest. Wow. Was she having an affair with one of the freaking... That's hilarious. 
That is hilarious. The jailer must have taken the key with him after reading that note. Jailer's orders. Good sir, auto command you to get upstairs and board up the windows that have already locked the underground tunnels to the other wing. A guard. Guard that key closely and may God save us all. I'm not gonna head up there just yet. Find the key. Uh, who the hell has the key? One of the underground cells. Are these the cells now here? That I'm inside the palace. I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Where the hell is the key? I needed to find the key. Underground cells, but the cells are not here. Oh, oh no, this is where I came from. Find the key. Alright, the key might actually... Oh, there we go. Alright, so this guy might actually have a key, huh? Come here, boys. Come here, boy. <laughs> Come here. Listen, oh, my goodness. Chief Jailer. So if I say her up and ball goes wrong. Yeah, this should probably open. I don't even know why I'm putting him here. That's going to do absolutely nothing for me, but... Let's see. This guy's the chief jailer. So, maybe that key is actually for the cell down here. If not, there's another key that we can acquire upstairs. There it is. Perfecto. What do we have here? <laughs> It'll cost you. Shut up. You will do nothing. Look how they burn them, dude. To think that they actually did that back then, like I'm pretty sure shit like that happened, man. That's cruel as hell. Those people gotta be burning in hell for eternity. Nice. And to you, I will never know. The mother of his children. To think it's so stubborn that Odo and that pathetic Walter du Sens, too drunk to give last rites. A travesty that one is. Hmm. Fine meal. Staff, dark days are upon us, but haven't. Uh, but with Evan's help, we will shine through. Let us all do our part in becoming in, in the coming of the battle. If that means I'm baking the finest meal, Lord Odo and Lady Theodrate, 
have ever eaten, then that is what we shall do. Let our goodly labor and crafts show our appreciation for the rain and golly ways. Pardon me, is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Oh, Persuade wow. that worthless priest Walter to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Magnificent feast. Thank you for the wonderful feast with a delightful surprise. None of us expected four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. The look of Odo's face when the living birds flew out of the pie crust was spectacular. Wasn't that a dainty dish to, play, to place before the counts? I do hope the birds are chased up out of the palace and do not soil the furniture. My thanks again for a memorable meal. So. She's wounded and resting in the master bedroom. Otis Priest Walter is drunk upstairs in the kitchen. Do they not even see me? That makes no sense, but I love it. I will blend in on this one as well. And then I will take his soul. Shaking with rage, those infernal magpipes are defecating upon our guests. Clamber up in the rafters and burn out their nests. The, the branches and twigs are a dead giveaway. Why in heaven's name did we put the blackbirds in the king's pot? <laughs> They're probably going to see me here. But oh well. Faithful... If his wife is inside, she might know where he is. Thank you for the important, delicious meal. More importantly, thank you for years of faithful service. No doubt you have earned heavenly reward. Alas, battle calls even as my dear wife lies unattended for the nuns. Please ensure Walter descends comfort in her in these dark hours and, if need be, deliver the last rites. Turn around, dude. Come on. Right, so there. It doesn't matter if we get caught at this point, I think.
Oh shit. <laughs> Just chopped off my man's arm. It's okay, man. Accept death. It's your fate. It is your fate. Accept it. Embrace it. Give me that neck, boy. More guards in this hallway. I must tread with care. So Walter has drunken himself into yet another stupor. It is disgraceful and frightening. He's dealing with the kitchen. He's heading to the kitchen in search of more wine. Please intercept him and get him. Okay. Well, hold on. Hold on. It must be blocked from the other side. Great. That's just great. Locked as well. But we might need to get the key from the... Oh. Here we go. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find the Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sans? Oh, why? Who is Walter de Sans? A great warrior? Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. We plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo. But I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. So if we go up this way. There we go. Excellent. Special wine. Maybe for a high feast. Could come in handy. Okay, so Odo's priest Walter might be in the serve. Okay, so. You gotta keep going up. Follow me, brother. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo? His foolish pride will kill us all. Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you not without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here's your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. <laughs> uh, before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Odo's bedroom. Interesting. Why would he give us the key? He's crazy. Oh, he's drunk. So yes, he's crazy. I see nothing but ships. Father, will you hear my confession? Sorry, um, your great ladiness, but I must speak to Count Odo. Where is he? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband any way you can. Death creeps upon me now. Slow and quiet. 
That's fucked up, leaving his like wife to die like that. Shadow at day's end. I so heavy. Mother. Where are you? Farewell, good lady. Alright, so now that we got the key and we know where he's at. What good are our deaths, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. <laughs> Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. Don't drink that. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Many have died today. Many more will die if we do not end this thing. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate, priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday, I will die with steel in my hand. As I know, it is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, North. Bleed for Paris. Come on, man. You really want this? You really want this smoke, man? I will break all your stupid glass and I will break your jaw. Oh crap. Oh hey. <laughs> oh shit. Die. Do not make me slay you. Honor the man. One of us die. <laughs> Come on, man. You really want to die here? Man, this guy's pretty powerful. I will give him that. You still don't match for the great Eivor. I, I need some adrenaline, please. Jesus Christ. I love the scythe, but it's so freaking slow. What? This man 
been drinking What the hell was that all about? Only I'm supposed to heal myself, you understand? I'm the player, you're just the NPC here, bucko. You don't get that privilege. Hey, it's pretty good. You're good, but not good enough. A fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Dodo, but not well enough. Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army. He arrives in time to save the city. Oh, we're not gonna kill this guy? They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles would hold Polly. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. What the heck? But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eval. I shall. I don't. Oh, you're. Oh, my God. These guys just cut each other up to pieces. And now they're like, hey, hey okay, here, have your sword back. Let's, let's get back to, you know, playing games. Lord Siegfried. I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. <laughs> silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen. And you bend the knee to your king. I He's do not do kneel that. to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter. Let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As to you, good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city. But... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby. Safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah. Indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I don't know. I'm gonna say he can't be trusted, but let's see what happens. Treasure is what we want. Treasure and a truce. Take his offer. Hmm. I think he's gonna betray us. Charles, we take your gift, and in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Oh, shit. Gosla, Abel, and my wife died 
defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead, are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. Hmm. Damn. You may have the boy. Shit. I am I as good bad. as my word. Toka, bring out the boy. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna betray the queen though. Take me home. There, there. I don't stand straight like the future king of France. God watches you, huh? I want me then music, silver and song, dancing, and someone warm in my sheets. Come, friends, let us feast. Some pretty interesting decisions we had to make there. Wonder what would have happened if I would have said, Do not trust the king. Things are too quiet. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their God that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bear our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Hmm? What? <laughs> what? Enjoy the feast all. A purse full of silver to any who can drink more and What if that I silver skull? is... What if that silver... I don't know. Something's happening here. What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? <laughs> We've done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? How do I race the pig? Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Hermod. The first to do two laps wins. Okay. Where do I start? <laughs> Good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? All right. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Why is the pig? Okay, so we just gotta go around. The pig is not even behind. <laughs> pig is lost. This is actually pretty silly, but I will accept. There's no way I can pass her. Are you tired, Eivor? Age catches up with all of us, I guess. <laughs> Just warming up. Oh, wow. Am I going to pass her? <laughs> yes. Oh, get away. Come on. Oh, come on! <laughs> I beat her! No! Did I win? <laughs> they don't make picks that fast in England. Oh, and you're pretty quick as well. What do you I mean, dude? I won the race, but Hermod is the big winner tonight. Oh, we oh. lost. Never mind. No matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes. Though, one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will <laughs> No that. lessons today. <laughs> Maybe you should put down that ale prow for a time. Without doubt. But that time has not yet come. <laughs> You are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword in the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was surprised you gave the boy to Charles. It is an ill fate to be prince to such a lord. You're right, Toga. But what I did was not for Bernard. It was for us. And for my clan. Is that the one-handed sword? Oh, dude. I think it is. Ooh, look at that, huh? Sexy. I like it. I'm gonna upgrade that bad boy up. And we're gonna put the runes. Socket and Spartan bow. Hmm. The scythe. And then the other one. Perfect. Perfecto. Oh, this is cool, dude. So cool. Oh, crap. Um, all right, so what now? Go to quest. Skull. And the pig is still stuck. Cheese <laughs> throwing? The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? How do I play? How do I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Alright. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> what the frick? Bravo, Evor! Good throw, Evor! Never underestimate the cheats. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There's much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell, what else should I know? Worry not about what I might teach. Right. Plenty to celebrate about this night. Don't let me spoil your fun. Go on. Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. I feel so much lighter. With a lighter weapon than with that staff. I suddenly feel like myself again. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles' army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange? That you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads. Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. This celebration is not about us and those we killed. It is for our dead, so that we may honor them. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons, and we are no different than wolves, driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No, I do not believe there is a hole waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Wow. Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy, and after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. What? This man crazy, bro. Man is actually nuts. Oh, I could have gone the other way. Oh, there's that. Cast about this lap, my friend. There he is. Gang then, wolf kissed. I only ask that you honor your agreement. 
What does a Krostaffer like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. <laughs> it is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog. That will inevitably lift. Damn, so if we would have chosen child. the other option, would this guy live? Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood, the blood of more Franks, will be no solve for your grief. It's as if you speak with Sinric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. <laughs> to live. Oh wow, we we'll changed his My mind. <laughs> My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... Find a new way. Wow. Dude, imagine if we would have killed him, huh? Where is he going? Away. Then I am going with him. No, Toga. Your clan needs you. Damn, I think it would have been more dramatic to kill him. I should have chose that. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe he comes back at the end or something. He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well. But all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Really? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I am honor bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. 
god. What the heck is going on now, man? Bravo, Guaperne. All right. You must be anonymous. Oh, the wolves. Oh, God. Send for me. Said the queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? <laughs> Look at this world. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. The quality of the wine is their due. They are not just a burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit. There is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eva. And I will carry the scars to remind me. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Simenik's Dotir now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mail shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Richardus was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Ivar, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. I gave Bernard to Charles as a bridge to an alliance. Yes, well, the boy barely lasted a day with that betrayal before running back to Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. Hmm. But those men have not reported back in too long. <sighs> I will find Richardis. I'm duty bound to return the aid she once gave me. And. She is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. Hmm. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. Hmm. No. Murdering Charles on the hope it will bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I mean to make. I misjudged you, Eva. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough. You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I will go to the tavern in Amiens and find Richardus. Fine. Bonne chance, Eva. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not. Bonne chance. Bonne chance. Can I trust this guy either? 
At least not yet. But let's see. Can we go all the way over there? Where is this? Oh, yes. Thankfully, we can fast travel there. That's the that's the beauty of being able to get these sync points, man. They're a little bit tedious sometimes, and you just want to keep going. But doing so saves so much time in the future. Find and reach the slaughtered calf tavern. All right, let's go ahead and get a bird's eye view up top. Be my eyes, Zunin. All right, so there it is. Here we go. This one right here. Hmm. <laughs> Lower the drum. These men must have been the Queen's guard. Tavern keep. What happened here? Hide. I am not sure it has gone. The monster. So much blood. Just hide. Better to look around myself. What the heck just happened here, dude? Damned. Need to get on the other side. Oh, no. No, Eivor, no. Alright, let's climb up. Queen escaped. On the way, enemies got to her. More of Odo's men. Hmm. They failed to safeguard the Queen. A monk. What was he doing here? Seriously, man? A scroll. It has an odd marking. Could have been part of Bernard's studies. A red puppy. Yes, these are Odo's men. The Tavern Keep may know something about this scroll and its markings. <laughs> there is a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the Queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church, and hope to find the queen there. Alright. Didn't we give Bernard to the king though? What happened though? Jesus, that was loud. Did I just kill these guys? Assassinate you. <laughs> oh, yes. Holy crap. 
Alright, good. Search for clues. There he is. No, I won't go back to my father. Something is wrong with him. Quiet, boy. I'm not going to take you to Charles. Not again. But last time... This is different. How did you escape? I snuck through the villa wall where there's construction. I climbed. Then I found Richardis at the tavern. I did it all on my own. Where is Richardis? Where is the queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to father for something. A test. I was... What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house and listen. I will see to Shadis. I can help. I know things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankie depends on your survival. It will be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down to the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up for it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going, and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo. Hmm. Very, very interesting. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. This guy's crazy, bro. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. Wow. They're actually gonna burn her alive? <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. Yo, hey, we're saver, man. Come on. My guardian angel approaches. That <laughs> is no angel. Before my king and before God. It's time I oh. send this Diablo back to hell. This where guy's still gone. alive. Alive. Stand aside, Bishop. Your God does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn. For little mother. For my brother Ebels. I will purge you from this place. Out of my way, Bishop. Oh, come on, dude. Ah, oh, Jesus. No, man, I... Ah, crap! Thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, my feet from falling. That bad? I think you want the pain. You like it. I want <laughs> to send you to hell. Ah. No, I'm 
totally whipping this guy's ass. Well, this guy's got a lot of guards here. Holy smokes. She's some sort of goddess now. Holy smokes. Oh my god. Hey, I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him. Dude went from sipping on wine. <laughs> to dropping the wine cup. And getting on his knees. <laughs> yes, dude, shut up already. I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lucerne. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flash of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. Oh. No, he is a wounded man who was tortured as a child, burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear, fear of fire, fear of God, fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago, he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There! We can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Hmm. Damn. Fine. If I can, I will spare him. If I can, okay? I need to be sure he can abide these terms. I know you will do what's right. The Lord works through you, and he is merciful. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. <laughs> nice. Wow. This is madness. Wow. What have you done, Charles? Let's just go. Let's go straight ahead. Let's let's take care of business. Slaughter his own servants. Madness. Who was there for you? It was me. I know it. <laughs> I see clearly. Bro. I should never have doubted you. What the hell's going on here, man? Two keyholes. I should look around. Of course. 
of devils. Say a thing, okay? This is all private matters here, okay? You guys have the privilege to stand near greatness. Alright, where's the other key, dude? Maybe I should search the upper level. The upper level? Good point. There we go. I hear you come in, my king. Please stay back. I will burn you. I know your fear. I have fire. <laughs> I'm not him. I'm not the king. This is where he sleeps. Gods. What? <laughs> my wildest mushroom cat dreams. The bedroom of the king and queen. Like it has never been touched. Could be Charles's wedding ring. Why is he not wearing it? Hmm. There we go. Interesting. Very interesting. Bernard's diary. I do not like it here, but it is better than saying staying with father. He has changed. He's quite sometimes and seems normal, but then he's angry again and speaks with that strange voice. Everything is different. I don't want to be like father anymore. I don't want to be the king at all. I know I'm not supposed to, but all I want to do is fight like Eivor does. Of course, everybody wants to be like Eivor. <laughs> so this is where he had Charles. Uh, not Charles, uh, Bernard. Should be the last key, or at least that key should be this here. Exactly. Christian holy book. No key inside. Strange. For Charles' diary, all this is not entirely Charles's fault. The devil has tormented him since he was a child. Who could bear such a thing and remain normal? Yet. He has always responded to me and to God. When we pray together, the darkness recedes and he becomes gentle and kind again. Just as it's written, resist the devil and he will flee. If I can only get him get him alone without his guards and his advisors, I know that I can get through to him. I must try with God's help. It's my duty as his wife after all. Another key. There it is. I should try these on the main hall door. Who did it? Who did it? I should try these keys on the middle. This better work. The one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> but I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. 
Wow. Beloved this God flesh, you were still there. You are still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. What the hell? We are the demon. We are... Uh... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. Killed him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again. Hmm. Interact. <laughs> oh, what, Charles? This is where it ends, Charles. Oh, probably lock him in here. Maybe. Charles. I think he doesn't come in. He just he's picking up rocks out of thin air. Much better than the first DLC, for sure. Much better. Quit your wailing and fight me! That was actually like water or something, huh?
Come here, Charles. He fears the fire for a reason. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Let me out of here, you swine! Not before you swear that you and your troops will never come to England. You did deliver my son. But how can I make such an arrangement when, as we speak, Siegfried is preparing his next raid? What? Siegfried is gone. He has no more armies and no power to work against you. Fine. On my honor and the life of Bernard, you have your treaty. My armies will not march on England. Not while I still breathe. Good. Soon I will sail back to Ravensthorpe. But if a week, a month, a year goes by and I see one Frankish shield... Do not worry, Diablo. You will not. No! Look away, my queen! Will he not, husband? I am here for you. <laughs> That's a good wife, bro. <laughs> Fuck. I promised. And if not, I will come back for him. I know. Very interesting. Very friggin' interesting. Alright, Charles, I can hear you from outside. Stop crying. I shouldn't be seen here. Just know, Charles will never honor our bond with you, Northern Else. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. <laughs> How dare you! Wait! Eva! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richard is? Did you encounter Shar? Richard is survived the trial by fire. The flames never touched her. And the king? Did you do as I asked? I fought Charles, but he still lives. You made no promise to kill the beast. And maybe I was fooled to ask you. But tell me you did not take the king's words over mine. Richard has had her own ideas about the future of Frankia. I grew sympathetic to them. After all I have done to try and keep her safe from him. Hmm. She convinced me that her plan was sound. She meant to subdue the king. Truly, she has a spell over him. This is your plan for the long-term safety of your people? She will ready the boy Bernard to be the next king of Frankia. Uh oh He is yet a piglet. You should be glad, Odo. Charles is gone. He will not bother you anymore. Maybe. But I won't stand by idly and watch this kingdom crumble any further. At least we can drink to Charles being subdued.
us go! We have work to do! What do you think he will do? I do not know what he will do now. I will have Pierre's eyes on him for some seasons to come. A wise step. Hmm. Can Richardis really keep Charles from returning to an active kingship? That is the wager I have made. And the lives of my clan depend on it. They can depend on more than that. You still have me. I will be sure to send word should Charles slither out of whatever pit Richardis has put him in. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. Hmm. You sound more y'all like all the time. <laughs> and now I must think of my own people, whom I have been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toga. Siege of Paris. We did it. That was great. That was phenomenal. I I like it much better than the first DLC. Not much, but like it's just better. It's a better DLC. Like the whole just story is it's nice. Alright, so now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the world and we're going to return to is it is it part of the Fr Francia? Yes it is. Perfect. Oh dude, I loved it and I love the mystery right there towards the end with like Charles and like the devil he was possessed by like the devil. Oh dude. Sick, sick, sick. Sick not sick, sick, sick. <laughs> that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. I don't know. I really did. I really, really did. It was my bay. Brand V. <laughs> it will be many winters before Frank is true. Get out of here, dude. The English shore. Fucking My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? The Queen, Richardis, believes she can subdue the Mad King in isolation. They have withdrawn to a faraway place. But Charles has such a stormy reputation. Can this Queen tame such a man? Richardis has a deep well of courage to draw from. And she holds sway over Charles like no other. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sindrikstotje. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tales to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> hmm. 
New strength comes to weathered halls. Now I can rest. Hmm. Is this part of the... Oh, that's it. All right, guys. So we are finished. We've done it. Oh, that was frigging awesome. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions about this DLC. Was it worth your while? Was it better than the first one? For those of you that played it or watched it here with me on the channel, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much. And I'll catch you on the next one.